Hi everybody. In this video, I would like to explain about the concept of permanent magnet moving coil instrument. Principle of permanent magnet moving coil instrument, construction of moving coil instrument, working, and the expression for deflecting torque. Regarding the principle, when a current carrying conductor is placed in the magnetic field, it is acted upon by a force which tends to move it to one side and out of the field, which means that a mechanical force acts on a conductor. Observe this figure. We are considering a permanent magnet, north pole and a south pole. The magnetic field or the flux lines, it is passing from north to south. In between these two poles, I am placing a conductor, placing a conductor and for this conductor, I am connecting a battery source. While we are giving the supply, the current is passing through the conductor. And simply, it is a current carrying conductor which is placed in the magnetic field. It experiences a force. The force direction is like this flash. Then coming to the construction, we are considering the rectangular coil that is a copper wire mounted on an aluminum former. This coil is fixed on a shaft and this shaft is fixed on a jewel bearings. These are the jewel bearings. In the top of the coil, we are placing the one spring, one spring and the bottom of the coil, we are placing a second spring. This whole arrangement is placed in a permanent magnet. This is of North Pole and this is of South Pole. Light pointer, it is attached on this moving system. The sides of the coil are free to move and their movement is controlled by springs. The springs are made up of phosphor branch. Coming to the working, when the instrument that is a circuit to measure voltage or current, the operating current flows through the coil. Through these springs, it is flowing, it is passing through the coil and it is comes out from the bottom spring. The current carrying coil placed in the magnetic field, a mechanical force acts on it. As a result, the pointer attached to the moving system moves in clockwise direction over a graduated scale. The expression for deflecting torque is If a current of I amperes flows in the coil, then the force acting on each side F is equal to B I L N. B tends to the flux density, I tends to the, the current passing and the L tends to the length or depth of the coil in meters and the N tends to the number of turns in the coil. Therefore, the deflecting torque Td is equal to force into perpendicular distance. The perpendicular distance, it is the B. Let it be the B value. The force is B I L N. Already were concluded in the above and the perpendicular distance is B. I simply by rearranging here B I N L into B. This L into B is nothing but the area. I am substituting here L into B is the area. B I N A. In this expression, B value, N value and the A value are the constants are the fixed values and the I value is the only the variable quantity. Therefore, the TD is directly proportional to I. Then, the instrument is the spring controlled so that TC is proportional to theta. The pointer will comes to the rest at a position where TD is equal to TC and this condition is called as equilibrium condition. Therefore, theta is proportional to the I. Thus, the deflection is directly proportional to the operating current and hence these instruments have uniform scale. Thank you.